back at it again and we have one here with brian stelter who is someone that i'm just now learning about but um this one should be interesting let's dive in that last segment that 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 i just had to listen to of all of the people saying the same old stuff also you're incredibly repetitive it's week after week You know, you are why one of the reasons people can't stand the media. I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa, I was just about to take a drink of my water. I'm glad I didn't because that water might have killed my keyboard. Whoa. Whoa. So, uh, like I stated before, I'm just now learning who some of these news anchors are because for a long time, I did not watch the news. But since I've been on this journey, obviously, I've been checking out more clips of the news. Um more frequently obviously so i can bring these videos to you guys and cnn supposedly has been trying to clean their act up and bring more reliable news to uh their platform they've been claiming they're going to bring non-biased news to their platform and in that process brian stelter apparently has been fired <laughs> so you know i came across this video and thought you know what why not check it out perfect time right <coughs> You know, you are why one of the reasons people can't stand the media. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're cracking me up. It's your fault. I, it's my, it's how, so what should I do differently, Michael? Don't talk so much, listen more. That last segment that, that, that I just had to listen to of all of the people saying the same <laughs> old stuff. Also, you're incredibly repetitive. It's week after week. I mean, you're the flip side of, 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 of Donald Trump. Um, you know, fake news, and you say virtuous news. You know, uh, there, there, no, there's we just a figure out what is here. real. I mean, you've all spoken extensively about Fox News being a purveyor of uh, disinformation, uh, but CNN is right up there with them. They push the Russian collusion hoax. They push the Jesse Smollett hoax. They smeared Justice Kavanaugh as a rapist, and they also smeared Nick Sandman as a white supremacist. Uh, all the mistakes of the mainstream media and CNN in particular seem to magically all go in one direction are we expected to believe that this is all just some sort of random coincidence or is there something else behind it i think you're describing a different channel than the one that i watch uh, but i understand that that is a popular right-wing narrative about cnn all these networks all these news outlets have to defend democracy and when they screw up admit it so in what ways has the world gone mad when we're not yeah this guy's insane <laughs> He said, you must be watching a different news station than what I watch. I don't think so. Not allowed to acknowledge that rioting. So in what ways has the world gone mad? When we're not allowed to acknowledge that rioting is rioting and it is bad and that silence is not violence, but violence is violence. The world has gone mad. You say we're not allowed, wow. we're not able. Who's the people stopping the conversation? Who are they? People let work at networks, <laughs> frankly, like the one I'm speaking on right now, who try and claim that you know, it was emotional damage. <laughs> Yo, I love this. I love this. We need more of this. Just telling people to their face, you are full of it. Ain't no beating around the bush. Ain't no coddling anybody's feelings. No, quite frankly, this network that I'm speaking on is trash. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we need more of that. We need more of this. Calling these news anchors out that spew out this crap. Putting them on front street. T tell them again, lady, please. I don't know this young lady's name, but I love her. It's violence. The world has gone mad. You say we're not allowed, we're not able. Between... Who's the people stopping the conversation? Who are they? People let work at networks, <laughs> frankly, like the one I'm speaking on right now, who try and claim that, you know, it was, it was racist to investigate the lab leak theory. Mostly peaceful. Pro 
Stelter was also trolled on live TV while promoting his new book. <laughs> Test. Yeah. You know, out there, um, Humpty Dumpty, we all know you're not reliable. You are nothing but a stooge. For we'll let you go there, Donald. If anything that's happening at CNN and anybody who buys your book, it's really just one of those things that is dividing our nation. And I don't believe in dividing our nation. It hurts our great nation. And so CNN is really the enemy of the truth. And that's my opinion. The narrative is. I want to show... <laughs> On live TV called this man out while he's trying to make some money. <laughs> Woo, it don't get no better than that, y'all. He also claimed CNN was a real newsroom while claiming Joe Rogan spreads misinformation. All kinds of opinions. Which sounds great, but not all opinions are created equal. You think about major newsrooms like CNN that have health departments and deaths and operations that work hard on verifying information on COVID-19. And then you have talk show stars like Joe Rogan who just wing it, who make it up as they go along. If Brian Stelter doesn't like you, that just doesn't mean- Rogan later poked fun uh, at Stelter during an episode of his podcast. Okay. Wing it, who make it up as they go along. If Brian Stelter doesn't like you, that doesn't mean anything to I, me. I, Why does he sit like this? Because <laughs> you ever notice, he sits like this. And because figures like Rogan are trusted by people that don't trust real newsrooms, we have a tension, a problem that's much bigger than Spotify, much bigger than any single platform. Because, case. because we don't trust newsrooms? Like and because figures like Rogan are trusted by people that don't trust real newsrooms, we have a tension, a problem that's much bigger than Spotify, much bigger than any single platform, Kate. But that's what the, is the heart of this, right? Because we don't trust them, we're in trouble. Well, Mr. Brian Stelter, um, I think you're full of it. And it goes back to a video I think we checked out yesterday. Maybe yesterday. I don't remember. A video recently. Pretty sure it was yesterday. But um, I, I would love to ask Brian, you know, out of all the stuff that he spewed and, you know, telling everyone to be afraid of this and afraid of that and be mad about this and be mad about that, has he ever been out in the streets rioting and protesting with everyone else? Has he ever gone out there? <clears throat> I would almost bet he has not. Now, I don't know uh, Brian Stelter's net worth. I would assume that it's pretty high. Brian Stelter net worth. It says roughly 10 million. So I would assume after his um, spewing out crap is what, you know, I think and a lot of America thinks and apparently CNN's new owner thinks. He goes back to his cozy gated community away from all of the crap and he doesn't go down to the inner city or you know, the, the lower income side of wherever he lives. I don't, I don't know where, he, where the guy lives. He doesn't go down there. And there's a reason why he doesn't go down there. He's never been to any of these protests or any of these riots that he tried to rile people up to go and do. And this is, <clears throat> he's never, he's never fact checked any of this information that he spews out himself. Now, this is all assumption. I don't know this for a fact. Maybe he has gone to, you know, some of these riots. Maybe maybe he hasn't, you know, riled people up in some way, shape, or fashion. Um, like I said, I haven't I haven't checked out a lot of videos from this guy, but from the little bit that I have seen, I assume that he is that type of person. And he has uh riled people up to go out in the streets and be angry. Like when the lady was calling him out about um how violence is violence and where where was that at? Um uh, we're all gone mad. When we're not allowed to acknowledge that rioting is rioting and it is bad. I'm assuming she said that because of what he said. He tried to make the riots seem like, you know, a good thing. And people should be outraged and they shouldn't be out there showing their emotions. Well, did he go out there and show his? Anybody know? Let me know in the comment section. But I'd be willing to bet that he didn't. He went right back to his cozy, gated community, nice and safe, probably has a guard or something, security cameras surrounding the premises. Kind of crazy how that works, huh? Y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. 
what do you think about CNN's new push to try to bring reliable news to the people? Do y'all think it's going to actually be reliable? Do you think they're truly going to be unbiased in, you know, their reporting? Which is why they, you know, fired Brian? Y'all let me know in the comment section. And would you give them a chance? Would you watch them just to see? Or just have they lost just all, you know, respect and dignity whatsoever? Y'all let me know in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.